Hi everyone, it's Connor here from Durham Hearing Specialists. I hope you're doing well and welcome to another video. We've got quite an interesting one here. As you can see, we've got some very dark, almost black wax up against the eardrum. And we know that the eardrum's behind this wax because see where the arrows are? See how it's kind of light gray? That's the tissue of the eardrum. That's the typical color of the eardrum that you would expect to see in a healthy ear. And the unusual thing about this case is that this wax has almost made a, a perfect mirror image. So it's molded actually perfectly to the outer surface of the eardrum. And you'll see that in a moment where I, when, I, when I drag this plug out. Um, but I've only ever seen this so perfectly preserved and presented once before. So it is fairly rare. But uh, just to give you some, some background on this case, this patient has, he's felt like, he's, like this ear has been a problem for quite a while. So several months this, this wax has been there but his other ear is sufficiently free of wax such that, you know, he's kind of been getting by and putting it off. And, you know, after shoving it further in, which I presume he did with a cotton bud, but after shoving it down against the eardrum, he reports using olive oil for quite some time uh, before giving up. And what presumably has happened is that the olive oil has gone in and softened the wax to such an extent that it's been able to form, you know, this perfect negative image of the shape of the eardrum. And again, just to give you further context, the eardrum is, is basically cone-shaped, so it's kind of slightly concave. And for a long time, researchers thought that that was just, you know, an insignificant feature of the eardrum. But as it happens, further research has shown that because it's cone-shaped, that allows for slightly more force to be transferred through the middle ear, through the middle ear bones, through to the inner ear, particularly for high-frequency sounds, which, again, makes sense because from an evolutionary point of view, if a human can hear high-pitched sounds well, then they can understand speech very well. So consonants, things like s, t, ch, all are very high-frequency sounds. So just some olive oil here, kind of sucking up in a whirlpool motion. Uh, so what you're going to see is that, that, that outer surface of the eardrum, the, the earwax is essentially kind of molded to that and created, again, a, a, a cone shape, uh, which you'll see in a moment. So I'm just dragging it out here and the olive oil is just allowed, allowing me to slide this plug out. And the outer surface that we could see with the endoscope initially is obviously gnarled and bumpy and things. But if we turned it over, can you see right there? I'll put the arrow on it. See how it's nice and smooth in a disc and see how there's a dimple in the middle so it's kind of cone shaped? That is almost a perfect representation of the outer surface of the eardrum, which is very unusual and very interesting. So, and again, if you were to take it like a, a, you know, a proper molding of it with silicone, then that's essentially what it would look like. So very, very interesting, very unusual. And uh, it's not something that you would see every day. So normally, if you look back on, on the channel, we've seen earwax, you know, pasted on the eardrum before, but it's never usually like this. You know, usually it's, you know, kind of a slimy, slushy quality when the, when the patient has used too much um, sodium bicarb or hydrogen peroxide drops, which is a nightmare to clean. Uh, or it's usually kind of, you know, adhered and crusty or dry, or, you know, it's keratosis obturans or some kind of complex thing that, that is difficult to clean. Whereas this was very different, you know, very, very easy to, to get out, as you could see. Um, but the particular shape of it was, was highly unusual. And again, you can't see it very clearly on the tissue now because obviously it's, I think I smushed it a little bit um, when I was putting it on the tissue. But, uh, I thought it was a very interesting case and I thought it would be uh, good to share it with you. So there we are, a short one today, but thank you very much for watching, liking and subscribing. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below and I will try my very best to get back to you. And as always, I will see you on the next video.